Hey guys, I am sitting at my office today and I just got this delivery from playbetter.com where inside is a rangefinder that I'm told is as good as my $600 Bushnell Pro XE top of the line Bushnell rangefinder. What's inside here is half the price. Is it possible that it can compete? First, we're gonna unbox this thing here very quickly in my office, but then we're gonna take it out on course to see if it can compete with my Bushnell. Let's do it, guys. Inside, we've got the NX10 from Precision Pro. This is a brand new rangefinder. I think the reason that it says play with style here is the fact this is actually customizable. You can create custom like holders that are magnetic for your cart with this thing. So I'd love to put the Let's Play Through logo on there. That would be pretty cool. But let's go ahead and see what's inside this box. It's a nice box. And if you've ever watched this channel, I've always said that I do judge golf technology by the packaging because if they put the time and effort into having great packaging, it's likely a great product. Now, I will say this thing's got some heft to it. It's got some weight. I have felt a lot of rangefinders. I have unboxed a lot of rangefinders and very often they feel a little plasticky and not so durable, but this one does feel very good. I would say it's comparable in build quality and form factor to my Z82, my Garmin Z82. You've got a big, nice magnet right there. That piece itself is magnetic as well. So again, that's how you can customize this thing, but you've got the big, nice magnet there. From what I can tell, that would be the slope selector switch. The Bushnell has it there on the side. This one's got it here on top. I actually like green better. Because this is smooth, it's actually a little slippery. And I think that's probably why you've got these lines, these like grippy lines, just to give you a little better grip. And then back here, you've got some really nice rubber. So that is missing from the Precision Pro. All in all, pretty good build quality, not quite as good as the Bushnell, but, but pretty darn good. And the features, very nice as well. So let's go ahead and take this thing out on course, see how she performs, see how accurate it is. Again, I'll put it right up against this Bushnell Pro XE because to me, that's the gold standard in rangefinders, and we'll find out just how good this thing is. All right, well, I've got both rangefinders out here, the Precision Pro as well as the Bushnell. We've got a flag way out there, about 360-ish. Let's go ahead and find out exactly what these two devices say. So again, the Precision Pro, good for up to 600 yards. I'm getting 327, now 351, now 354, now 354, I'm getting 354, so I don't know what I hit. Maybe there's some trees that were getting in the way there, but there is, it's very quick and very snappy and the haptic feedback, the haptic feedback is really nice. More powerful than most haptic feedback, I will absolutely say that. Now I'm gonna pull out the Bushnell here. This has the red light inside and this is also telling me exactly 354. So these two are spot on, the Precision Pro spot on with really the top of the line optics in the Bushnell Pro XE. So that's a good start. The only thing I would say is a couple times I got some misreads just hitting other objects out there. But when I do hit the flag, I do get the circle kind of disappears on the inside there. I'll try to show you that here in the video. And that nice haptic feedback, really good. So 354 and 354, both devices exactly the same. That's a good start. Let's hit a shot here and see how it does from a little closer up. All right, well, here's where we ended up, just a little right of target, but not too bad. We've got a good lie here. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the distance to the flag here first with the Precision Pro. It's so snappy. 148, 148. Didn't hit that drive nearly as long as I wanted to, but we are dead into the wind. And with the Bushnell, I'm also getting 148. So exact two for two. And this time the Precision Pro grabbed it with no problem. So maybe on a little bit longer length, this thing might have a couple of errors or might be a couple of misreads, but if you keep hitting it, it'll, it will go. We're gonna go, hmm, we're gonna go eight iron here. We hopefully don't get struck by lightning.
think it's long. I've been testing these new clubs. I've been playing the stealths. And man, these things are long. Let's go find out where that thing ended up. All right, now in terms of magnet, this one looks like it's got a good one. What I like about it is it's on that side of the rangefinder. It's the little things, guys, the little things. But to me, that makes a lot more sense. Bam, there you go. Perfect, nice, strong grip to it as well. Really nice. Bushnell, it's on my hand side. So anytime I'm gonna put it up there, I've gotta put it on that side and it's just a little bit more awkward. Whereas having the magnet on this side, to me, at least a right-handed person, that makes a lot of sense. Now I know there are some lefties, so I guess if you're left-handed, maybe you wanna stick with the Bushnell, but uh, for you righties out there, I think you're gonna like what I see there with the Precision Pro. Nice, nice grip there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, these stealth clubs are juiced and I'm testing out a bunch of irons this summer. So if you haven't already, good time to hit subscribe if you're looking to get the perspective of a mere mortal out on the golf course, not a guy who drives it 300. In fact, I think I just drove it 215. <laughs> you're gonna like what you see on this channel. Ooh, there's lightning around me. That must mean you have to subscribe. Yeah, I was long. Boy, oh boy, that was, I don't know where it landed, but probably about here, 148. Probably hit that like 156, so. Woo, long clubs. We're gonna get up and down real quick and then we'll go back to the rangefinder test here. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh. A little more of a putt than I wanted coming back, but hopefully we make par here. All right, guys, well, I definitely hit that one considerably better and I'm in a great spot to put a wedge here in my hand. I'm gonna test the slope function now. The slope function up top there, again, you've got a green, means you've got slope engaged. With the Precision Pro, I'm getting 109 up one to 110. Again, this is Florida, guys. With the Bushnell here, I've got slope engaged. I'm getting 109 up one to 110. So again, spot on. That is great for accuracy. Now we've looked at long shots, medium shots, and short shots, everything giving us the same. Let's go ahead and hit a shot. Oh. thought that was in. All right, we've got a medium hole here. We are going to check for medium distance. And I'm getting 169 from the Bushnell, just a millisecond slower, I would say, in terms of getting a reading. 169 on the Precision Pro, so super snappy. All right, let's hit a good shot. I'm gonna go seven iron here because I'm feeling good. I think I'm up there. So yeah, I'd say the accuracy doesn't get much better than that when it's going toe to toe with the Bushnell guys. And it's not like it's even been off even one yard at any time. Now we will test the durability here. I just dropped it. <laughs> I just dropped it. Let's see what the damage is. Not too shabby actually. <laughs> but that's the only little gripe I might have with this thing is I'm not sure this is as durable. The build quality to me doesn't seem as sturdy as the Bushnell, the king of build quality in my opinion. But in terms of accuracy, in terms of having the magnet on the right side for me, which is actually the left side of the device, and in terms of just ease of use, having the slope switch up top there, and the fact you can customize it makes it really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and give this device four and a half out of stars. The value is absolutely there. The only thing holding it back from five for me is build quality, but guys, this is one good unit. Oh, and if you're gonna buy one of these things, there's no better place to do it than playbetter.com, home of the best prices on the internet. That's where I got mine. You can get yours there too. They've got free 48 hour shipping across the continental United States. Awesome golf people. Now let's make a birdie putt. And then I gotta call it, cause it's getting nasty out here. Guys, hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.